Okay, in this tutorial we're going to continue with our island level and we're going to add some trees to it and we're going to add some grass. Okay, so make sure you've got your terrain selected and over on this side here click on the icon that's got a tree on it and then click edit trees and add a tree. Now you get the add tree box comes up and it says please assign a tree. So if you click on your terrain assets, I've already got these open actually, so I'll start from the beginning. So select terrain assets, and you'll see you've got terrain grass, terrain textures, and trees, ambient. Double click on trees, and then double click on palm, and you've got a picture of a palm tree there. So drag the palm tree onto your little game object area there. Um, Give it a bend factor of one. We'll end it. We'll add a uh, wind zone later. Click add. Now go back to your terrain. And you've got your tree selected. Now you've got your brush size. We'll turn that down a little bit. Okay. Uh, we've got tree density. Tone that down a little bit. And tree height variation, etc. We'll leave as they are. And then just paint over your island by left clicking. Don't worry if you get the trees in places where you don't want them, because I'll show you how to remove that later. I'll deliberately go over that water, for instance. Okay. So if I zoom in now, I'll put a few more there. Hold down your centre mouse button to pan around. I'll put a few there. Now you can see I've got some over the water there. So to remove them, all you do is hold down the shift key and then left click. And you take them away. Okay. So have a look around your island. Make sure I've got a few on the cliff there. So I'm going to take those away. Hold down the shift key. And just go around them there. Okay. And... That looks reasonable to me. Oh, I've got some on the beach there. Hold down the shift key. Press play to have a look at your island and see if you're happy. Okay, but trouble is, as I say, you can walk through them. So I'll deal with that in a later video. I'll show you how to add colliders to your trees and make them so that you can't walk through them. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is add some grass. So that's the next button along, the details button. Click on that and now click on edit details. Click on add grass texture. And we've got detail texture here. If we go down to our assets, we've got terrain grass and terrain textures. So let's have a look what's in these boxes. Terrain grass. We've got grass and grass 2. So let's try grass 2. Drag that in. You can always have a play with them and decide which you prefer. Click add. And now we'll zoom in on our player because this is detail. We're not going to add it well zoomed out. We'll zoom in to add this one. So terrain. Make sure you've got that selected. Uh, you've got your brush size, as you can see, when you go around the player. We'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay. The opacity will turn down that um, decides how much grass it's going to add. So we'll have a play with that and see. So first of all, left click and paint around the player. You see how much grass that's added. If you want to get rid of it, just zoom out a bit and hold down the shift key. And we can get rid of it. Okay. Turn down the opacity yet more and click again around the player and you can see it's adding a little bit less. Turn down the opacity even more, hold down the shift key and we can thin it out a little bit. See how it's thinning out. Okay. So let's play that and see what it looks like. There we go, we've got clumps of grass. I think it's better not to overdo it because uh, obviously all this waving grass takes power out of the computer. 
And also, I think it looks more, more realistic if it's in clumps rather than just solid grass. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Uh, you can carry on experimenting, add more trees, add more grass. Um, you can make a little path on your level if you like by changing the texture. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.